Hello YouTube, Maximum Photoshop's back here with another tutorial. Before we get started, I'm going to have to tell you guys that you will need these three images in order to follow along with the tutorial. I'll make sure that they're all for download in our description. So once you're downloaded them, click pause and click play again and let's get started. So to follow along with this tutorial step by step, firstly this is what we're going to be making before I continue. It's a man looking at the earth. Very cool, very nice. So let's get started, as I said before. In order to uh, follow along with me, step by step, you're going to need to make sure that your document size is exactly the same as mine. Or you're going to have to be expanding the images, contracting them, and using different settings than I am. So let's get started. New document. Let's make the width 1024 pixels. And let's make the height 780 pixels. A resolution of 72 should be good for this. And RGB color 8-bit. Let's hit enter. The first step is to go ahead and import our plain desert. Drag and drop. Hit in enter. Right click and rasterize layer. So let's hold shift and drag it to the bottom. Let's make a new layer on top of it. Take the bucket tool. And bucket black. Very good. So let's put black under it. Now let's click our plain desert, make a layer mask, take our gradient tool this time, make sure that it's black to white, and start doing a gradient. That should be good. The next step is to take our brush, make sure that our brush is 850 pixels, make sure that the hardness is 0%, and we just start brushing. Now make sure your brush is set to black. So let's start brushing away. Now as you can see here, it's a very rounded effect. So that's what we want to achieve now. Take into account that we can always come back and edit our layer mask later if you don't like it. But for the time being, I think that this is pretty good. Let's move on to our next step. Our next step is to go ahead and drag and drop our photo of the Earth in here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. That should be a good size. You know, take up the whole page. Hit Enter. Next, let's hit Control T and rotate it so the highlighted part of the Earth will be facing down. Drag it to the top over here and hit Enter. Very good. So the next step is to position it into the center, take the pen tool, and we're going to create a path around our earth. Let's go ahead and click and drag. And we're going to do this for the whole earth. Shouldn't take too long. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit Alt. I'm going to hit the point so I can start fresh. Very good. Once again, Alt and hit the points. Drag me up a bit. And once again, Alt, hit the points, and click, and drag a little bit. Very good. Now we can go ahead and drag around this image, zoom out a bit. And to zoom out very quickly, you're going to use Alt, and you're going to use your scroll wheel. So let's right click and let's click make selection, hit OK, take the elliptical tool, or marquee tool, sorry, and click delete. Right, so let's right click, let's rasterize layer first, now we can click delete. Click Ctrl D to move the selection. So now let's double click to open up our layer styles, or we can just go blending options. And let's go ahead and put an outer glow on this thing. Make sure that it's normal. Let's make the color a nice light turquoise blue. A little darker than that. Very good. And let's make the size 10 pixels. And let's make the spread 2. All right. That's not enough, though. So let's go ahead and let's actually increase the size to about 13. And let's make the opacity less. Let's make it. 50%. Next, let's go ahead and put an inner glow on this. 
make sure that it's on normal once again. Choose around the same color, a nice light blue. Make the size bigger this time, but make the opacity lower. Seems good. Don't mess with the choke, don't mess with the range or the jitter. Edge is good, softer is good. So let's hit OK. Next, what we're going to do is apply a photo filter. So let's go here and let's click this icon, half black, half white. And let's hit photo filter. So make sure the color is one of those light blues once more. Hit OK. Make the density 42. Now let's make sure that it's only on the planet by hitting Alt and click in between the two layers. So as you can see, it's only affecting the planet now. So let's take our layer mask, take the brush, make the brush 500 pixels, and click inside world. Very good. So it gives the outer part of the world a really cool looking look as you can see. Now let's actually take our white and let's make the opacity 50% and let's click inside a little bit. Very good. So next step is to go and add a levels adjustment. Hit levels and again make sure it's only affecting the planet. Let's drag the bottom bar up a little bit, drag this bar back a little bit, very good, and this bar back a little bit. So it gives it that nice looking contrast. Very good. So actually, let's go here and let's take the inner glow and let's make the opacity a little bit less. Very good. So let's take our guy and input him into the photo now. Drag and drop. Now this is the most tedious part. Let's take him out so he's not affected by anything. Make sure that these two are just affecting the planet. And let's take him, take the pen tool, and what you're going to have to do is extract him from the image. And what I mean by extract is keep clicking. Now your clicks don't have to be too accurate because he's going to be very small in the end as you can see, or as you saw at the start of the video. But still make it a little accurate, don't go like this because you're going to see it. It's going to look like he has scales and wings. So that actually could be a pretty cool effect. But for this, let's just make it a little bit accurate. So I'll cut to when I'm done. See you in a bit. Hey guys, I'm back and I'm about done clicking all over the guy's body. <laughs> that sound is wrong. But once we're done, which is right here, I'll show you the path. Very good. So right click and let's click make selection. Now before we do anything, we're going to want to right click our layer and rasterize layer. So once again, let's right click here using our marquee tool. Right click and layer via copy. So we can take that layer out for now. As you can see, it's not that great of a cutout, but it'll work for this tutorial. So we can delete this right now. Take him, make him smaller, obviously. Make him face the planet. It's good. So I made him about 29 to 30% smaller. And what we're going to want to do is apply a levels or curves adjustment. So make sure that the curve is only applied to this layer. So let's click Alt, hold between the two layers, and there you go. So what we're going to do is drag down right there. As you can see, he's becoming very dark. Not too dark that you can't see him, but very dark. Very good. The next step is to go ahead and hold shift and click the both layers. Click Control and E. So that combines them. So they're one layer now. What we're going to want to do is duplicate them by hitting Control J and go to Image, Adjustments, brightness and contrast. Make sure the use legacy is checked and go brightness and go negative 100. That's going to make him completely black. So next step is to control T. Take this middle layer and drag down. Next we're going to right click, click distort, 
and drag it to the right. Let's actually take both layers by hitting Control Shift and let's drag them up a bit. Then take our shadow again, Control T, drag them down, right click, distort, and drag it out a little bit more. All right, that seems good. Next step is to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur, or Gaussian blur, whatever you want to call it. Make sure that it's three pixels. Very good. And go to opacity and make sure that it's 87%. I found that it worked the best like that. So, as you can see here, the colors are a little bit different. And the man is a little bit smaller. Here he's a bit bigger. If you want, you can make him smaller, and that's what we want to do. We're going to go Shift, Control T, and just drag him smaller. This seems okay. Let's check. He's still a bit smaller there, so let's go Control T, and just make him smaller even more. That seems about right. Yep. So as you can see here, there's a different look of colors, and that's what we're going to achieve right now. Let's go here and click a new layer, and then we're going to hit this icon right here, half white, half black, and we'll hit gradient map. Now, click the gradient map, and click this one right here, the violet and orange. And it should give you this effect now. So what we want to do is hit soft light. That's going to give it a really nice color already. But we're going to make the opacity 50%. And that completes the really cool color effect. Here it's more green. Here it's more purplish, orangish, which we see here, purple and orange. So that's it, guys. The tutorial is finished. You can have a really nice effect of a man staring at the Earth. And it could be from wherever you want, from your imagination, maybe Mars, whatever. So very cool, very nice, very simple and quick. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. Like, subscribe, make a video and tell me what you want to see. Comment and tell me what you want to see. I will look up to that and I will make videos for you guys on what you want. Once again, thank you guys for watching. This is Daniel from Maximum Photoshops. See you next time.